Hi, I'm Dan Larson, and this is 1994's Todd Toys Spawn in four minutes or less. This is the most insulting action figure that has ever been produced. This is what you produce after Spawn becomes the dominating title that it was throughout the late 90s? You, Todd McFarlane, were so popular for your work on Spider-Man, it allowed you to walk away from some of the biggest paychecks that have ever been made to a comic book artist. You were able to co-found a new comic book company that revolutionized the comic book industry, allowing creators to retain the rights to their characters, and you delivered this alley full of hot wet garbage? Spawn, formerly Al Simmons, decorated U.S. Marine and CIA assassin working on the most dangerous and top secret missions, gets murdered, goes to hell, and is reborn as a hell spawn with the glowing green fire of hell itself, as well as access to a cache of comically oversized, totally impractical conventional weapons, and you packed him with a plank of wood with a nail sticking out of it? How do you sell a comic book that celebrates hell and damnation to little baby children? You don't. Todd was originally working with Mattel to produce his Spawn figures. Comics were hot and getting hotter. Mattel wanted in on a comic-based property that was quickly becoming the next Batman. But Todd and Mattel didn't see things the same way. Mattel tried to soften the edges of the concept a bit. Todd pushed back. In fact, Todd pushed back so hard that everything fell off the table. Todd left and took his toy rights with him. He put out the first wave of Spawn figures under the name Todd Toys, which he would eventually have to change because Mattel was worried there might be confusion with Barbie's little brother. The reality is that if Mattel couldn't have Spawn, then they weren't going to play nice. Todd got a taste of how the game is played. Now you're gonna put M&M's Lose Yourself under this next part, right? No. Todd moves forward with Wave 1. It's still heavily industry influenced. You can draw a straight line from Kenner's 1984 superpowers straight through to Toy Biz 1989 Batman figure and their subsequent DC and Marvel superheroes in 1991 to this Spawn figure. Same articulation, same pose, same build, same detail. In 1992, Toy Biz's Batman and DC superheroes go back to Kenner and without DC, Toy Biz goes all in with Marvel. Mattel picks up Street Sharks and the Lion King. Todd is looking at Kenner and Toy Biz. He does it the way they do it. Same articulation, same pose, same build, same detail. But he knows you can't sell Hell's Hero to kids, especially without a cartoon or a movie. He has to change the script, change the marketing, change the industry. He's got the biggest comic book on the planet. How does he convert those readers into buyers of toys? Todd realized comic book fans, toy collectors, were growing up. That's who's reading about a hero from Hell. They're older and have more money in their pockets. They want figures that are the next level of maturity, the next level of paint and sculpting detail. He needs to make figures that are bigger, more detailed, bloodier, sexier, and unapologetically not for kids. They're for adult collectors. 1994 Spawn was the last time Todd would ever do things the way the rest of the industry was doing it. Todd Toys is reborn as McFarlane Toys, powered by the glowing green fire of hell and cash stacked on top of money as adult collectors responded very positively. McFarlane Toys owned the action figure market for the next decade and the rest of the industry had to play catch up. Marvel Legends, NECA, Palisades, Mezco, Black Series, the existence of today's adult collector market, that is the legacy of 1994's Todd Toys Spawn, the figure that gave birth to the modern era of action figures. If you're not a Spawn fan or can't find it for less than $5 in the package, this figure is an easy pass. But if you want to own a historically significant Spawn figure whose best unadvertised feature is the irony of its aesthetics, which mask the true Hell-inspired nature, then this figure is a must-have. So buy it if you see it, and if you see two, leave one for the next collector. Don't put that in. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please give this video a like, hit subscribe, and share, share, share it everywhere. I feel like a jerk walking into forums or Facebook collector groups and trying to be cool while I share my videos, but you, you can help us not be those jerks. Let us know in the comments below if you've come back around on Spawn figures and, like me, are now able to appreciate them after having made it through the all Spawn figures are terrible stage of backlash after they were so huge for so long. Good. Nice.